Hey everyone, Billy from the LM Cases Custom Integration Department, and today we are going to take a look at our D11 distro. Uh, this distro was kind of born from people sending me lots of emails asking me questions about three phase power. Um, we do have a number of standardized three phase distros that are available from lmcasesonline.com. Um, but a lot of people are, were looking for a three-phase distro, wanting it for the output functionality of it, but not having three-phase uh, three power available to them. So uh, when, you know, when we got a number of requests, we just decided to design this guy. So it gives you the same look and feel of a three-phase or a two-phase rack pack um, distro, but it gives it to you in a standard Edison uh, inlet and outlet. Um, oh, the other thing that I should mention, I, I, I didn't mention in my other videos, um, we have a very complex naming um, <laughs> system here at LM. D is for distro, one is for single phase, and this is the first uh, distro of our, of our single phase distro line, uh, the, the D11. Uh, if you've checked out our other videos, you may notice our D3 uh, D31 or D32, that is the D, distro, three, three phase, and one, the first and second of the line. So oftentimes, uh, we will design standardized products like this based on requests. Um, if, if we have a customer that will uh, ask us for something, and I, I, I happen to just think that I can read the tea leaves and say, man, that'd be cool. Other people would like that. We'll build it or um, if we get similar requests. So this one, just for some product history there, was um, people asking for a three-phase distro but not having three-phase power available to them. Um, I, I, I will say also before we get into this distro, uh, if you'd like to email me, you can email me direct, billy at lmcases.com. Um, I get many emails a day with power questions. Um, and I am from the school of thought that I would rather that you buy something that you are familiar with, that you feel comfortable using. And I would hate for you to buy something that uh, doesn't work. Or if there's not enough pictures, or there's not enough explanations or any of that kind of stuff, um, I would much rather that you reach out. Uh, I'm happy to chat with you about your system that you're building or, you know, um, in integrating this or one of the fine, fine cases in the LM cases product library um, in, into your build. And, you know, we, we hope to just make lifelong customers with this kind of stuff. Um, I, I always joke that I don't want to be the biggest company in the world. I just want to be a small company that builds kind of cool things. So anyway, rant aside, the D11 distro, you get a 5278 inlet a 5279 outlet. So if you have several cases or systems that are together and you'd like to loop them together, you can. Uh, there is a little LED light that lives underneath this um, flange here that when, you, when power is available to the unit, it illuminates. Uh, this 5279 outlet is wired post or pre-breaker. So power goes into here, it goes into a little malt block and it comes into this so that if you have several cases run or several distros run together, um, you, uh, you won't pop the breaker here. Um, same thing we do on larger distros. It just spills down to the, the smaller little guy. Uh, on the front here, you have a courtesy outlet that gives you uh, two AC outlets. It also gives you a USB-A and a USB-C. Um, as I mentioned on other videos, I, I pretty much just spec this outlet now, uh, this is 2024 right now at the time of filming this video. Um, we're in a weird transition period between USB A and C. Um, it, it seems like we're getting less and less requests for, for, for purely USB A, um, but a dual USB C outlet is quite expensive. So, as an example, the dual USB C outlet is $55. This is about $35, and the uh, dual USB-A is about 20, 25 bucks now. Uh, so this is on its own 15 amp pop breaker. Uh, you do get a heavy duty hydraulic 20 amp breaker on the front that shuts off everything in the box. And on the back, you get six duplex outlets, one true one, and one power con. Now you might be asking yourself, Billy, why are all of the power outputs available? Well, sometimes you need outlets in density, 
And the other times are sometimes you need to feed things in your rack that also need to be locking. Uh, if you are a follower of LM on any type of social media, specifically YouTube here or Instagram, uh, you will may or may not notice that I like the Furman plug lock power outlet courtesy strip thing. Um, and what I like to do with those sometimes is cut the Edison end off and replace that with a PowerCon or a True One. Um, the Furman Plug Lock is a, a little power distro unit that is, uh, I think it's five AC outlets and it has a little saddle that holds your, your plugs down. So if you've got wall warts or something like that plugged in and those are locking, wouldn't it be cool if you had a locking connector in there? Uh, the other thing that we make in the LM Tor Systems division of LM cases is we make a fourplex to Edison, a fourplex to Truon, and a fourplex to uh, PowerCon outlet. You can custom configure that on the website. If you want it to be one foot or 100 feet, you know, um, you can do that. So sometimes it's nice to take that apart and mount it on the wall of a rack or something like that. So we just give you options like that. You never know when you need to plug something in. If it's, in my opinion, I like to have as many outputs available. Um, and if you just, uh, outputs available as you possibly can. And then sometimes when you just get into situations where you can't maybe fit a duplex, having a, an additional flavor here sometimes can, can save you. If you run out of extension cords or anything like that, sometimes you might have this flavor available. So again, six duplex outlets on the back and a true one and a power con. Are we throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks with power outlets? Yes, we are. Thank you for noticing. Okay, so that wraps up this video. If you have any questions, just like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, please email me directly, billy at lmcases.com. If you'd like to buy this, check the link below, or if you'd like to buy this or many other things, check out our web store, lmcasesonline.com. And if you wanna see the general daily goings on of LM and the custom integration department, check out or check us out on Instagram, if you wanna see the integrated stuff, it's a little story highlight thing called CI, and in this year it's CI24. You can also look back to CI23, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, sorry for rambling. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys watching these videos. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below or email me or contact us with any of the aforementioned uh, methods, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, bye.